and it's done by hey 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 there we go fireworks all right y'all the space is new uh it smells new in here uh and you know they have some selection here but i don't know guys the interior the vibe it just doesn't quite link up you know because this, this is supposed to be casual eats you know cheap cheap cheaper side for example this concierge to have a proper eat i'm not sure what this is all about it's nice in here a little too nice for the type of food court that i'm looking for with the higher price point that they're charging here i'd rather pay a few dollars extra and go to a sit-down restaurant yeah for me it's a no go for now it was a hard no until I saw this. $55 for all you can eat from any of the food vendors, minus the sushi roll place, here at Aria's Proper Eats. All right, y'all, I'm coming right now. Let's go. I'm coming, coming out. I'm coming out to sing. I'm coming out to sing. Oh, boy. I have to sing to avoid copyright infringement. Hey, 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 what up guys? Check it out. We made it here. 55 bucks for all this, although you do have to pay $20 extra for the Tamaki bar. Okay, which uh, I'm gonna skip out on that because I'll tell you a little bit on that, but let's check it out. So there's a breakfast portion here, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. The serving size of the all-you-can-eat menu is the same as a la carte orders, so uh, continue watching, even if you're not interested in this all-you-can-eat special. Yeah, this is like egg slut. <laughs> I'll save the eggs for next time. This is buffet style, so I gotta try to get my money's worth. And I think the one that you gotta try, and again, you have to come here before 2 p.m. for breakfast, is this right here. The Mo Green. Do you know who I am? I'm Mo Green. One take situation want to buy me out. No, I buy you out. You don't buy me out. It, it sounds like it has a lot of expensive stuff on it, right? And that's the $28 one, and it's included on this. So if you eat two of those, you're going to get your money's worth of this. In theory. Whew. I'm going to try these pastrami's, and I don't know why they close at 2 p.m. I wish this was open till later, but... Because this is the money maker, I have a feeling, okay? But who knows? Tamaki Bar, $20 premium. I'm going to skip this because it's basically going to be, check it out, I'll show you some pictures on it. You're going to have some rice and a little bit of fish. Like the, uh, the Tekka Bar at the Cosmopolitan. So, I'm gonna skip on that. Let's do Pizza Oki here. Wow, you order a few of this and you're good to go. A couple of pizzas. <laughs> Laughing Buddha. I'll get some uh, ramen bowls later. And uh, you do have three hours here, so I don't know how they time that, but we'll figure that out as we go. Check it out. Soul Bird, Korean street food. Annyeonghaseyo. Annyeonghaseyo. And then if you see the kimchi there, you know I gotta try that out. By the way, it came out already. Right. Oh, the soul burr. The soul, the soul bowl. Soul bowl. Yeah, yeah, I know. Why don't you try saying it? Soul bowl. Oh. Some tater tots here. Ooh, just looking at this menu, you have three hours to eat whatever you want, as much as you want, while watching football? Oh yeah, I'm down. Woo! All right. Some burgers here, smash burger. We're gonna get into that later. And then, the Lola's Way. Am I tripping, but uh, does, I Lola's Way. Does that mean something in Spanish? I feel like it does. You know, this is good, okay? But I don't taste any kimchi in here. I, there's cabbage. 
and then there's some kind of a gochujang sauce but uh no kimchi flavor for uh for the koreans or kimchi lovers out there now if this was served at a buffet this would be considered above average if it was at a buffet so just put that in perspective all right you know i know this is wasted space but i gotta do it Ooh wee! i love some fat onion rings yeah whenever i see onion rings i gotta order some this is the Lola's uh, special here, combination of this, this, and that. Let's try the Cajun fries first, or I mean the, uh, the truffle fries. Looks freshly made. It's hot and fresh. So you're never gonna get this at a buffet, hot and fresh fries, unless you know, you're right out there when they first deliver it. But this is hot right now, hot and fresh. Again, same story with this. This is the benefit of a format like this, all you can eat. Because this is piping hot right now, my fingers are burning. Oh yeah, this is piping hot and delicious. All right, y'all. I think there's really gold flakes here. <laughs> Tastes like booger. <laughs> All right, just kidding. This is from Wexler's. Remember, they close at uh, 2 p.m. And this is the $28 one. Oh yeah, Mo Green, don't play with the caviar and the gold flakes. And keep in mind, these servings are the same full-size orders as you would get if you ordered a la carte. Oh yeah, it tastes just like how it looks. There's a little cream cheese in there. Mm. Let's try a little lemon on it. Uh, what a huge difference a little lemon can make. Ooh wee! What a little caviar and gold flakes could make early in the morning. Remember, you gotta get this before 2 p.m. All right, let's move over here. This looks awesome, but uh, with the given all-you-can-eat menu, there's so much I could have done with this. For example, I added some fried eggs, maybe some kimchi, or even the sarshu pork. Oh yeah, this is tasty. The buttery toast, the strong pastrami with cheese on top, and then you have the sauerkraut to kind of bind everything together. Oh yeah, let's reset our palate now. I need a bite of the pickle. Yeah, it's good, but again, this is like what, 18, 20 bucks for one? Now this is not that big. I suggest if you want pastrami, I suggest you go to New York, New York to uh, Greenberg. It's this much bigger over there. Hey guys, the cool part about this is that regularly what you do is you order at a kiosk and then you gotta go up there and pick up the food on your own. But if you do it this style, there is a designated waitress who brings you your food or waiter, server person. Although I think you do have to go pick up your utensils, uh, napkins and uh, condiments. There's a station up there where you go pick it up. but. Found a Tabasco. Tabasco, ketchup, and if you have ranch, that's cool too. This mixture here takes me back to the 1980s. Whenever Koreans went to American diners, this is what we did. And if you have A1 sauce, put that in it too. Bun's a little softer on this because this one's toasted here. It's good, but at its higher price point and smaller serving size, I'll take green birds over this. Again, it's tasty, but uh, you know, if I'm ordering just this, this is definitely not gonna fill me up. Right now, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, I could eat all this right here and still be okay. So definitely, 55 bucks is definitely worth it. Individually, I don't know. And that's part of the reason why I've never tried out these restaurants here. I've seen it, but I stopped and went somewhere else.
So out of these two, this is better. Tastes better with the toasted uh, bread and little coleslaw or, not, or the sauerkraut I mean in there. Uh, this is tastier. Both not bad. All right, the bagel's a little too thick on this one. So let's go. Let's see what's underneath. I have an idea. $30? No. $55 altogether? Yes. Yep. Still working. Oh, and by the way, there's a football game going on, so that's what tailgating is all about, right? Big old space here. All right, let's go for a here. Big old space, mm -hmm. big old space, big old space. Yeah. Football, boom, boom, boom. Keep in mind that the serving size for this all-you-can-eat menu is exactly the same size as a la carte order. So uh, even if you don't plan to do this special deal, just please continue to watch as general information for this food court. Grab your condiments here and chopsticks. And uh, here you go, some napkins. Just like Wendy's, do your thing. Yeah. If you need some water, just come here. It's an ordering kiosk over there. The ordering kiosk is used to order a la carte items for these Buddha. various vendors. But you order through your server in this all you can eat special. Buddha. These are Korean food products and Otogi is a trusted food brand in Korea. And uh, some Koreans might think, why is this displayed here at a ramen place, which is more Japanese than Korean? Whatever the case, I just hope to the person that who put that up knew that those are not Japanese products. Unfortunately, I didn't get to try these burgers because I was ordering some of the other food items. But uh, this just tells me I would love to try this special again, and I'll order some burgers and all the other items I didn't get to try this time. All right, y'all, so this is Pizza Oki. They did uh, some delivery spots in LA. Uh, yes, he's the DJ guy. And uh, his family has some restaurant experience because uh, their family started uh, Benihana's. This is the Shalom, y'all. I don't know, I feel a little weird saying that. Did I say shalom, y'all? I don't know. I just feel weird about it, though. But I'm sure I could say, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> All right, y'all. Keep in mind, order this. You got to order this because that bucket will come in handy if you have some leftover food. And yes, I ended up taking a few items to go. And just don't go out of control with it. You know, I would definitely not do that if this was a small mom and pop's place. But come on, guys. This is Aria. They could handle it. And yeah, they saw what I was doing. And you know, I think one, two, maybe three items is okay. But again, it depends on your situation, all right? All right. Oh, check it out, guys. You want the bowl of rice? They have a bowl of rice. And Korean iced tea. I don't know if soda's included in this or not. I don't know. Obviously, alcohol isn't. Uh, I haven't bothered asking yet, but I'd rather do this anyways right here. They call this the Korean iced tea with the yuzu green tea served in a very fun crane style drinking pouch. Lots of stuff down there. This doesn't taste like green tea. It is called Korean yuzu green tea. No green tea flavor in there. It just tastes like, you know, the marmalade spread, the preserve. It's just as sweet as that. It is sweet for my taste, but you might like it. Although, if you're eating all that fried chicken, all the fried food stuff, this could be very useful in terms of offsetting that. So, uh, yeah, nothing green tea about this. I would not pay $8 for this, but uh, it's included here, so why not order it? Here we go. All right, check it out. This is the uh, the smash 
the smash kebab Eero or Jiro or Gyro Eero. This is from the Shalom. Shalom, y'all. Looks juicy, it's hot. And uh, this would be $18, guys, just for this. $18. 18 in life. This has a lamb and beef, and it smells. Yeah, it has all that uh, the smell of a legit place. Yeah, smell the herbs and uh, cumin. I smell the cumin. Cumin is very strong in this one. Let's take a bite. <laughs> all right, y'all. The protein to the uh, the pita bread ratio. The bread's a little bit too strong for this. <laughs> the bread's thick, it's tasty. It's toasty and tasty, but uh, in terms of the ratio with the beef, it's a little lacking. Whew. Yeah, you know what? The flavor is all there. I know I've been eating a lot of food, so my hunger is not there. So I could see why this could taste a lot better if I am hungry. It tastes fresh, it tastes good and there's flavor in there but it's nothing okay i wouldn't pay 18 dollars for it okay <laughs> keep in mind that the prices for these a la carte items could be increased by a few dollars by the time you get here all right this is the uh, the tuscan salad deconstructed i asked for dressing on the side just in case just in case it was going to be drenched too too heavily the salad. I need to get some salad. Every day when I'm in Vegas, I try to get a bowl of greens inside of me. Eh, not, what is this, $12? Not too bad for $12. Some walnuts here and some dressing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get one nut. Boom, boom, boom. All right, y'all, I found the magic potion here. I put ice in here from the ice dispenser over there with the soft drinks. Now, with the ice, magic is happening. It's softening up that strong flavor I had earlier. This overly sweetness is gone. The other sweetness is gone. <laughs> but be careful, guys, this seed came out. And no, it's not a nut. Anyhow, let's move on to the next. Here's the ramen, the tonkatsu ramen. And I added uh, the egg. It's way better than I imagined. The ramen tastes homemade here I think but I'm sure it's not the broth is strong not bad not bad Ooh. Yeah, the salted egg has a beautiful salty flavor on top. A little soy sauce taste to it. Ooh. You know what, guys? And ladies, ladies, this is not bad. This is not bad. Maybe a little bit too salty overall, but again, that could be me because I, I just was drinking this. Maybe that's maybe it could be me, but if anything, if I have to say add anything to it, it seems a little bit too salty with butter, and it was death. I proceeded to eat it because I was in the mood. All right, I'll stop. Feel free to pause if you want to see the breakdown here. Yes, it was worth it. Oh my goodness, oh, what a night. 
I'm glad I have some leftover food. I'm eating this already. Mm, pizza Oki. It's been refrigerated. And yeah, it has it's it tastes beautiful. Mm. Oh, and if you checked into Aria, check this one out. You could get a free drink, potentially. Alright, y'all. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. And if you did, please push that like button. Push it, please. Uh, this is a micro channel. Every one of your pushes makes a huge difference. So pu push it real good. <laughs> Comment below and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And please come again. Bye bye. <laughs>